Everything in excess is dangerous and so is the case with artificial intelligence. It is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines that makes it significant. Over the last decade, AI has seen tremendous progress and has impacted a multitude of industries. Despite these advancements, it appears that the current AI technology is more likely to create substantial negative social outcomes rather than fulfilling its promised benefits. The AI revolution is happening at an unprecedented pace compared to any other revolution in history. It is often promoted as a tool to enhance and streamline processes, resulting in significant improvements. Much more than a technology, AI represents a new way of interacting with our environment and doing business. We have become increasingly dependent on technology to make our lives easier and faster. In the current technological age, manual processes have given way to automation and technical solutions, all due to the innovative minds of humans. The intelligence of humans has paved the way for new inventions that simplify work and improve our daily lives. We will see it in smart homes, autonomous vehicles, self-diagnosis of health problems, and personalized treatment. It will be everywhere. However, some people claim that it will wipe out jobs for humans. And what if they wipe out humans? Just imagine. Join us as we delve into the question on many people's minds, is AI a threat to humanity? Over the last few years, advancements in artificial intelligence have reached several key milestones, leading many experts to seriously consider the possibility of creating super-intelligent AI in our lifetime. While some still believe that achieving human-level AI is still centuries away, a growing number of scientists believe that it will become a reality within our lifetime. Elon Musk being one of them. Musk is considered one of the most insightful people working with AI and he has warned that AI poses the greatest danger to human civilization in the future. This means that the dystopian future seen in science fiction movies may not be far-fetched. According to Musk, the threat from AI is closer than previously thought. In recent years, he has been vocal about the potential existential threat posed by advanced AI Stephen Hawking has also voiced his opposition to AI development on numerous occasions before. When AI goes wrong, it can go really wrong. However, AI is not going to become self-aware and take over the world. That's science fiction. But it can still make big errors or bad decisions. When it does, negative effects can happen at scale. AI systems are being deployed at scale across millions of devices. If AI starts making bad or harmful decisions, it could hurt millions of people physically or financially. A good example of this is self-driving cars. If the AI in charge of a brand of self-driving cars has a flaw, that flaw could show up in thousands or even millions of vehicles. In the future, we will see a wide variety of robots equipped with AI capabilities. In the military field, the use of AI is expected to lead to more advanced forms of warfare. This is because AI allows for the creation of sophisticated systems that can analyze vast amounts of data and make decisions based on that information. As AI technology continues to develop, scientists will have the opportunity to demonstrate that human intelligence can be duplicated and reduced to a purely mechanical process. If this were to occur, it would fundamentally challenge our understanding of ourselves as unique beings. There is also a possibility that in the future, AI machines could become more intelligent than humans. This scenario could lead to a situation where humans are in competition with machines, much like the scenarios we often see in science fiction films. The rapid development of AI and robotics is resulting in large amounts of waste produced by computers and other electronic devices, which are already having a major impact on the environment. If the development of AI continues unchecked, it could lead to even greater levels of pollution, potentially putting our planet in a critical state. Since AI algorithms are built by humans, they can have built-in bias by those who either intentionally or inadvertently introduce them into the algorithm. If AI algorithms are built with a bias or the data in the training sets they are given to learn from is biased, they will produce results that are biased. This reality could lead to unintended consequences like the ones we have seen with discriminatory recruiting algorithms and Microsoft's Twitter chatbot that became racist. As companies build AI algorithms, they need to be developed and trained responsibly. Ethics and morality are important human features that can be difficult to incorporate into an AI. The rapid progress of AI has raised a number of concerns that one day, AI will grow uncontrollably and eventually wipe out humanity. 
While innovation is good, it is also proved to be harmful. AI does not exist by itself. A human has to program it, train it, and use it. It can be made to bend whichever way we make it, we can control it to a certain extent. It can be a positive force in dealing with economic crises, climate change, and the pandemic. On the other hand, if all that software is poorly designed, trained, or used, it can be very dangerous. AI may also threaten human jobs because artificial neural networks are becoming more powerful from year to year and may soon outperform humans in many fields. Autonomous weapons or killer robots are military robots that can search their targets and aim independently according to pre-programmed instructions. But there are many dangers in having these weapons and what if they go rogue and kill innocent people? Or even more tragically, what if they cannot distinguish between their targets and innocent people and kill them by mistake? then who would be responsible for that situation? So, are humans going to be replaced by robots in the workplace? With training and education programs, employees can learn to work alongside the AI instead of being replaced by it. Many processes require judgment calls and AI is still an imperfect technology so this attended automation would be the ideal model, ensuring the machines produce the desired results. We lose more and more human skills due to the use of computers and smartphones. Is there something wrong with that? Sometimes there is and sometimes not. Smart software makes our lives easier and results in a reduction in the number of boring tasks we have to perform. Examples include navigating, writing by hand, mental arithmetic, remembering telephone numbers, being able to forecast rain by looking at the sky, etc. Not immediately of crucial importance. We are losing skills in daily life and leaving them to technology. This has been going on for decades. One of the most amazing characteristics of human cognitive power is its ability to develop with age and experience. However, the same can't be said about AIs as they are machines that can't improve with experience, rather, it starts to wear and tear with time. One thing that we must understand is that machines can't alter their responses to changing environments. That is the basic premise on which AIs are built, the repetitive nature of work where the input doesn't change. So, whenever there is some change in the input, the AI needs to be reassessed, retrained, and rebuilt. Machines can't judge what is right or what is wrong because they are incapable of understanding the concept of ethics or legality. They are programmed for certain situations and can't really make decisions in cases where they encounter an unfamiliar situation. No matter how smart a machine becomes, it can never replicate a human. Machines are rational, but very inhuman as they don't possess emotions and moral values. They don't know what is ethical and what's legal and because of this, don't have their own judgment-making skills. They do what they are told to do and therefore the judgment of right or wrong is nil for them. If they encounter a situation that is unfamiliar to them then they perform incorrectly or else break down in such situations. No doubt that artificial intelligence will bring more advancement to the world, but it can unfortunately also increase terror attacks by helping terrorists with more advanced technology. Many terrorist agencies have already used drones to carry out their attacks in various countries. Just imagine if thousands of drones are launched with the programming to kill a select type of people, this type of terrorist attack, assisted by technology, would be catastrophic. Humans cannot develop artificial intelligence because it is a technology based on preloaded facts and experience. AI is proficient at repeatedly carrying out the same task, but if we want any adjustments or improvements, we must manually alter the codes. AI cannot be accessed and utilized akin to human intelligence, but it can store infinite data. Machines can only complete tasks they have been developed or programmed for. If they are asked to complete anything else, they frequently fail or provide useless results, which can have significant negative effects. We are therefore unable to make anything conventional. We are in the early stages of probably one of the biggest technological revolution. If we can solve AI, we can solve so many other problems. And eventually, AI will make better decisions than humans. But what's wrong with taking a technology that has all kinds of beneficial uses and making it better? The notion that technology is either good or bad is a flawed one. It is simply a tool that can be utilized for either purpose, depending on how it is used. AI is a rapidly growing field within computer science, focused on creating intelligent computer systems that can perform a variety of tasks. 
While humans possess intelligence, we often do not fully utilize it to its maximum potential. However, machines equipped with artificial intelligence can operate at peak efficiency and perform tasks with a high degree of accuracy. While this can be seen as an advantage, it also presents certain drawbacks. Our reliance on technology has grown to the point where it is deeply ingrained in our daily lives. As a result, it is crucial that we educate ourselves on the capabilities and limitations of AI, as well as the potential consequences that could arise from its continued development. It is important to note that artificial intelligence itself is not inherently good or bad. The outcome of its usage is determined by the actions of those who employ it. Whether it is used for positive purposes, such as improving healthcare or increasing efficiency, or for negative purposes, such as warfare or cybercrime, ultimately depends on the choices and decisions of individuals and organizations. That's it for today. Will the new technologies really replace humans? Or even worse, take over us? What are your thoughts about the dangers of AI? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching Unrestricted Intelligence and please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.